hi everyone i know i am going to get a lot of heat for this but i need to vent i 31 f made some trouble decision and now i am paying the price let's start from the beginning i was married to jeff 34 m for four six years our relationship was decent but it felt like we were just going through the motions there was no passion no excitement and i felt like i was suffocating jeff is a good guy but over time i realized we were not mean to be i started feeling restless and questioning if this was all there was to life i thought maybe i could find happiness elsewhere about a years ago i made a difficult decision to file for divorce i wanted to clean break but i also now i needed help that's when i met mark 35 m my divorce lawyer we he come he came highly recommended and from our first meeting there was an indenable chemistry between us mark was charming confident and made me feel special something i had not felt in a long time as we worked through a divorce process mark and a grew closer he was always there to listen to my frustrations about the marriage and offered advice that felt more personal than per- professional i started looking forward to our and before i knew it our relationship closed the line from professional to personal one night after a particularly emotional day in court mark invited me to his office to talk he had a few drink and one thing led to another we kissed and i felt like all the emotional i had been bottling up finally had an outlet we ended up sleeping together that night and i felt alive for the first time in years it become a regular thing snapping around and meeting up after hours in the maddest of these affairs i started dating a new guy bradens 35 meter he was sweet attentive and everything jeff was not but even as i started something new in bradens i could not let go of mark i told myself i deserved this happiness after everything i i have no i have been through with jeff however jeff started to get superstitious i thought i was being discreet but apparently i was not careful enough one night after meeting mark i come home to find jeff want waiting for me he did not say anything just handed me a hold and walk out inside were pictures of mark and me together along with some text i thought i did delete i was in shock jeff had been following me gathering evidence panic set in as i realized the implications the next day he was a court meeting to finalize the divorce jeff presented all the evidence to the judge and i felt my world club ring mark tried to defend me but i was no use the judge ruled to jeff for favor and i ended up with nothing no alimony no favorable settlement just a tarnished reputational and a break, broken heart to make matter worse mark faced disciplinary actions for his unethical behavior his career took a massive hit and he blamed me for everything he cut off all contact leaving me alone to deal with the fall, fell out burdens upon learning about my affairs with mark also walked out of my life i was left with nothing and no one i now i brought this on myself but i it does not make it 
my any as easier i lost my am husband my liar turned lovers and my boy, boyfriend uh, all in all fell snob i have been trying to pick up the piece of my life but it's hard every day in struggle and i can't help but i think about how different things could have been if i have made better choice so there you have it my life is a mess and i have no one to blame but some myself i now i do not deserve sympathy but i needed to get this off my chest maybe someone out there can learn from my mistakes and avoid the path i took update to hi again everyone it's been a few months since my last post and i wish i could say think have gotten better but that not really the case i appreciate those who reach out with advice and support even if most of the comments were critical i now i deserve it after everything fell apart i decided to try and make amend with abordon i realized he was a good guy but did not deserve to be catch in the mess i created i wanted to apologize and see if there was any chance we could start fresh deep down i know it was a long shot but i had to try off he to my surprise he agreed when we he we meet i could see the heart in his eyes it was clear that he was still affected by everything that happened i apologize sincerely explaining how sorry I was for hurting him and for the choice I made I told him that I missed him and wanted to see and I finished he took a deep breath and said Kara I appreciate your apology but I can't go through that again what you did broke my trust and I do not think I can ever fully get past it he said he needed to move on and that it was best for both of us to let go and focus on you or our lives hearing those words hurt more than i expected i had hoped that maybe we could find a way back to each other but i now he was right trust is everything in a relationship and i had scattered him to make these words i have heard through mutual friends that burden burdens in seeing someone new it strings but i guess that's the reality i fee have to face i can't expect him to wait around for him for me while i sort out my mess of a my of a life i still think about jeff sometimes wondering if he moved on to part of my regards everything i and other part now that our marriage was over long before the affairs it's complicated and painful but i am trying to learn from it all so here i am trying to rebuild from scratch i am focusing on my job going to therapy and trying to figure out how I am without a relationship defining me. It's a slow process, but it. I am determined to come out of this stronger and voice. Thank you for reading and for those who shared their tough, tough love and advice. I. It means more than you know. I am not looking for sympathy just trying to be honest about where I am and what I have learned hopefully my story can serve as a cautionary tale for everyone else feeling lost and making bad decision here are some comments she got comment 1 it sound likes you are finally talking personal responsibility which is a step 
in a right direction rebuilding trust in your life would not be easy but it's going to take time focusing on yourself for now maybe stay single for a while and really figure out who you are and what you want it sucks now but you will get through this and to be stronger for it comment to i have been through something similar and it i it stopped the most important thing is that you have owning up uh, to your mistakes and trying to move forward therapy is a great idea just take it one day at the time work on being the better versions of yourself and give it times you will come out of this better if you really learn from what happened hang it there what is this girl deal man i am want what are these girls talking that make them think doing this type of stuff is acceptable this is probably one of the worst case i have seen personally i just do not get it man as far an ex i wish them a speedy recovery going through these things is not easy anyway let us now our thought in the comment sections below when you subscribe be sure to click the notification bell thank you